Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today is July 2nd. We'll talk about uh, why do we need purity. Yesterday we uh, spoke about what is purity and uh, why do we need this purity. Psalm 24, 1-2. to I'll just read it up to you. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas, and established upon the waters. Purity isn't an option. It's a requirement God demands of us. Without it, we cannot enjoy a relationship with Him. The need for spiritual purity is based on our ownership by God. Since He is our Creator, Redeemer, we have to be pure. When God created us, He created us clean, innocent human beings. That was true until sin came into the picture. Because of sin, we could no longer relate to our Creator as a pure and innocent part of His creation. Only as we experience a pure life can we experience the joy of an intimate relationship with our Creator. We also belong to God because He bought us. God the Son, Jesus Christ, died to pay the penalty for our sins and thus redeemed us. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20 reminds us that we don't belong to ourselves, but we were bought at a price. Since God owns us, we have a practical obligation to strive for purity as well as moral obligation. We can't be pure without the help of God. We need the power of the blood of Jesus Christ to, to cleanse us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins according to 1 John 1, 9. He removes all our sins when we confess and go to Him with a broken heart. Our God is the creator of incomparable power. We have to make sure that we are pure in order to have a relationship with Him and get His power. He is a holy God and we can't approach Him with our unholiness. When we come to God in confession of sin, when we seek Him with all our hearts, when we thirst for Him as a deer pants for the brooks of water, God will use His power to cleanse us and draw us to Himself. Paul in 2 Timothy 2.20 says, In a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. We all know this fact. God uses any vessel, both the golden and the earthenware ones, but He chooses not to use the unclean vessels. He, we might be having exceptional talents and we might be wealthy too, but God doesn't care about any of these things. He only cares about how clean you are. He only uses the clean ones. A holy believer is a strong weapon in the hands of God. No servant is acceptable for God's service without clean hands and a pure heart. When you are pure, you'll receive blessings from the Lord. God loves people who are clean in their hearts and He would be ready to bless them. Charles Haddon Spurgeon said that when God forgives our sins, there is more forgiveness to follow. He justifies us, He adopts us into His family he prepares us for heaven. He gives us grace. He helps us to, uh, till our old age and even more in our eternity. All these blessings are ours when we are pure. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for teaching us why we have to be pure. Please help us to be pure always, Lord. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.